surface cleaner for pressure washer use. This is a 15 and a half inch wide and will accommodate up to 4,000 PSI. We have to do a little bit of assembly here, just the wheels, but I wanted to show you that this is a two, a two in one uh, machine. Pretty cool. What it does is, you know, it cleans your regular surfaces like concrete and whatever else you need to clean, patios and things like that. But what you can do is turn the wheels upside down to where the device is like this. And what you can do is actually wash like the undercarriage of your car or something along those lines. So that's a handy tool if you live in like a salt belt state or an area that has a lot of snow and you need to clean the undercarriage of your car and don't want to go to the car wash. So that's really, really neat. What we're going to do is just put these wheels on, uh, assemble it really quick, and we're going to go out there. I don't think I'm going to do the undercarriage of the car, but I can show you uh, how it's going to clean concrete. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with that, um, and we'll just do a little bit of assembly here. Already done a couple of wheels. I'm going to show you one here on camera. So you take the nut off. There's a washer as well. The nut, you have to push out of this little collar that they use for shipping. And once you do that, what you can do is you grab the wheel. The wheel has a little D in it slides on to this little D on the machine because otherwise it won't go. So once you slide it in there, it takes you have to work it a little bit. Put the washer in. Put the nut on. And this is a locking nut. They provide you with a 13 millimeter and 11 millimeter wrench for your nozzles and your um, wheels respectively. They also provide you with a couple of extra nozzles in here, a little tip cleaner, and a few O-rings, and a couple of rolls of Teflon tape. So that's really nice. Um, and again, you just tighten this nut up. Just like that. I'm going to finish the last one. I'm going to demonstrate to y'all what it looks like with the wheels where the surface cleaner is on the ground. And then if you turn the wheels back, the surface cleaner back up to do like the undercarriage of your car. All right, so here's the surface cleaner side of it. You want to use your straight nozzles here so that you have good control of your surface cleaner. The wheels do make it easier to roll. We're going to go test it out here in just a second. Um, let me show you when you turn the wheels over. I think I showed you all already. You're going to pull this pin and then literally just turn them. just like that. And what you do after that is you flip this over and you have a surface shooting up. The surface cleaner is now shooting up. So you can hook up this and all of a sudden, whoop, once you latch it into place here, you're washing the undercarriage of your car. That's a pretty cool idea when it comes to this. We're not gonna do that demonstration on camera because it won't show very well visually. We will do a surface cleaner demonstration on my concrete outside, so let's go ahead and take care of that. 
So with this surface cleaner, what we're gonna do, you've already seen that I've washed a little bit here uh, in the past, but we're gonna finish off this area of the concrete pad. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse. We're gonna show you all how well it does and get this thing clean again. All right, guys, there's the after of this uh, Evage one. It did an amazing job here. Uh, you can see what we started out with on the side here. That's the one thing you can't really do if you've got like a little brick wall or something like I've got right here. You can't, you can only get but so close to it without, uh, you can kind of go alongside it if you wanted to, but I decided to go in this up and down pattern because it slopes down toward that back there. And um, you can see it looks so much better i get a lot of pine sap and stuff and just junk that gets on this driveway and it looks terrible that was probably a good three to four years of just junk that's got built up since all the water drains out that way from my driveway and one thing i had to do because i had so much dirt you can see one little spot that i missed and the difference between the two um that's so much dirt on the driveway is that I took a regular hose and just sprayed off the loose stuff. You can still see I got a little bit of loose stuff back here. All that right here is loose. So um, again, it just cleaned it off really well. I'd used another one right before this one. This one was far better in terms of maneuver maneuverability, especially. Um, if it does this well on a cake driveway with caked on dirt, just imagine how well it's gonna do with the underside of your car once you turn it around. So just keep that in mind. We'll wrap this video up next, but wow, what a difference here on the driveway. So that wraps up this Evage 15 and a half inch, 4,000 PSI uh, surface cleaner. Really, really like it. Y'all saw all the dirt that I sprayed off and because of this metal casing right here, Look how clean it is underneath. It's, it almost looks like I didn't even use it, which is incredible. I'm really happy with that and really happy with this product overall. I reviewed another one and it wasn't as good as this. But this right here, maneuverability was great. It has a curved end for a, uh, an attachment that comes with it. I didn't use it. I found that whenever I was testing it, in the house before I attached hooked the water up to it that I didn't really have a lot of control over it when I had that curved in whether it was on the top or the bottom so uh, I wouldn't recommend using that unless you have some sort of wand that works better with it but a standard wand just these two regular um, straight attachments work excellent it did an amazing job I'm really happy with this um, some stuff I get is just kind of okay this was this was really good so um, again you can wash the undercarriage of your car too with it uh, as well can't really show that very well on camera but if you know if it does as good as it did on that dirty surface of the concrete that it's going to do just as amazing underneath your car great like you know once it gets above freezing or whatever and you need to wash it wash the salt off of it or something along those lines if you live in a state that has snow and they put salt on the roads regularly this would probably work really well too Thanks again for watching, guys, and thank you, Avaj, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Take care.